guys and welcome back or to my channel today i'm going to be sharing my april monthly favorites i know i'm a little bit late but i just been doing a lot so i didn't have time to film it but i have it up nonetheless but yeah i have quite a few favorites that i've been loving um a lot of beauty ones that i've really been loving not too much clothes and stuff but definitely some like tv shows and stuff so yeah if you guys enjoy these kind of monthly favorites definitely give this one a thumbs up also if you aren't already subscribed definitely subscribe down below and if you want to keep up with me in real time while i'm not posting here on youtube definitely follow me over on instagram and i will also have my tiktok link down below so let's jump right into this favorites video so sorry if i look a little bit bald i don't really like my hair up in a ponytail but i'm just gonna fling it back for now because you know I did it out my face but we are going to start with beauty as always and i have quite a few favorites so we're just gonna jump right in randomly and the first item is the elf power grip primer i don't know if i shared this in my last favorites i honestly cannot remember but i'm gonna share it again because i just still been using it such a great primer definitely makes your makeup grip to your face so I've been loving this a lot, very hydrating as well. And to go with that, this is, I believe, a new product from them and it is the Power Grip Dewy Setting Spray. So it looks just like this and it is a fine mist setting spray. I don't know if my camera will focus, there we go. And as you can see, it's like very like liquidy and you know, I don't know how else to explain it. It's like this really pretty blue color, just like the primer. But I have been loving this. I am wearing it right now, and it really adds that dewy finish to my entire face. I love this a lot. I wore it on my birthday trip, and it really kept my makeup in place. And it's not as sticky as the primer, which I was like kind of confused. Like, was this going to be like sticky on my face afterwards? But it's just really just like dewy, like a dewy mist. So if you Feel like your face looks too matte this is a great product to use as a setting spray so you can put back into that moisture and glow on your face next is a foundation and it is the house labs triclone skin tech foundation and i am the shade 300 and it just looks like this i love the packaging with this frosted bottle but this foundation oh my goodness if you guys saw my washington dc vlog this was the foundation I wore like the day that I was traveling and honestly in that video I was like editing it back and I'm like oh my gosh that foundation looks so nice and it like stayed on for most of the day like I didn't have to touch on my face at all. I'm wearing it right now and I feel like it is just so like like you could definitely build it up i'll say it's like medium to heavy coverage but it's not too matte on my face it's not too like dewy on my face i feel like it's a good in between such a great shade <laughs> match the 300 i did get 330 first but that was a little bit too dark but i did get a tan and i know i'm going to keep getting tan especially when i go to disney um so i'm going to keep the 330 because i know that would be a better match but other than that this foundation oh my goodness like i know i shared the nars one the light reflecting one but that's a great like you know more dewy foundation this one is just a great you know whether you're going out for a night out or just an everyday foundation it's very versatile so love this a lot if you guys haven't tried it definitely try it because absolutely love it the next makeup product is going to be the Patrick Ta Double Take Cream and Powder Blush in Just Enough. Look at that beautiful packaging. I know mine is like so like dirty and smudgy, but this color, oh my goodness, the best summer blush in my opinion. I'm wearing it right now. Don't know if because of the editing, can't tell, but obviously in photos and stuff and in real life so pretty the perfect like cool tone baby pink and then the cream blush to top it off with i love this so much i understand why people rave about it because it works so well for so many different skin tones i have the other color she's giving and i feel like i'm gonna wear that more when i get more of a tan because it's like a more intense version of this i feel like but yeah i've been loving this so much it definitely worth the money in my opinion i got it during the sephora sale so i saved a little bit of extra coins but yeah i'm so excited that i have this because i've been seeing everyone wearing it before i was able to pick it up and it just looks so beautiful i've always won like a cool tone pink like that a similar dupe i will say for like 
more so like the cream blush is the elf putty blush like the cream ones i'll try to put the name here so in case you don't want to spend the money on this at least you had that it's just trying to find a blush to match i know that sephora collection has a blush this like cool tone pink color so maybe try that one or even i believe nars has one as well even though it's probably still the same price as this but yeah i love this nonetheless it's great especially for traveling and last in like the beauty department i have a fragrance to share and i am late on the bandwagon with this um i really have been trying to find scents that smell like baccarat rouge and or rouge i don't know how you pronounce it and i'm obviously not going to buy that i haven't really smelt it but i could imagine what it smells like and i actually got like this body oil fragrance roll-on from tiktok shop that's i'm guessing smells like it because the reviews say and i really like it but i found out that this fragrance is very similar and you know it's working for me right now i know it has like mixed reviews but it's the ariana grande cloud perfume and i just have the little like travel spray this i did not expect it to smell as like you know sophisticated as it did and comparing this to the rollerball that i got it smells very similar so even i'll put on that rollerball and then put this on top of it so you know it kind of lasts longer but i have been loving this it smells so good i know the lasting power i don't think is that great obviously but you know we'll see i do want to get like the set of like the perfume i think it's like a body lotion and a body mist i believe it comes with so yeah i'm definitely gonna pick up a full size of this because i'm trying to grow my perfume collection i definitely want to have a nice perfume collection um over the next few years i'm gonna grow it because you know i love scents and it just makes me feel really good in the morning when i'm spritzing myself with a nice delicious scent so i have three more physical items to show you guys and they are all in separate categories but the first one is just like a little like bag accessory piece and this is just like a little water bag that i picked up from target i believe it was part of their pickleball collection or their tennis collection i don't know but it's just like this water bottle bag it has this beautiful this is what drew me to it was it's like lime green because i love this color like my phone case is the same color and it just has like this little pocket where you can put like your cards and stuff and then this opening where you can put your water bottle i don't know if a stanley fits i haven't tried it but i unfortunately am not using stanley's anymore it's a long story which i will share in a different video but it just has like these striped little adjustable strap and i used this when i was in washington and it came in really handy i was just able to put my cards a little perfume a lip gloss in here i was able to put my camera in here some other stuff i didn't carry a water bottle but i'm sure even if you have like a little like maybe like a 20 ounce water bottle like you could still fit a bunch of other stuff in here like it's really like spacious so i love this as you guys know when i went to disney last year i used the corksicle mickey one and i found out that corksicle is has a grogu one which i will definitely be picking up <laughs> when i get paid again but yeah i love this bag a lot and i will be using it more often next is a tech like kind of gadget and this is a magsafe charger i don't think it's the exact brand but i got mine off amazon i believe this is like ten thousand whatever that thing is called am whatever <laughs> but yeah it just looks like this it's a little compact and i've always wanted the magsafe chargers because it could just attach right to the back of your phone so i actually bought like these sticky um like magnet pieces that are like the same circle shape to stick on the back of my phone case and then this attaches perfectly and it charges it and i mainly got this for when i travel because i usually have the ones that are like a wire and i don't like holding both of them at the same time especially if i'm going somewhere that like i'm gonna be like walking around a lot not just like sitting at dinner that's fine to charge those with um those other ones but with this one just attach to the phone you're holding both your phone and this at the same time and you don't need any extra wires or anything and it lasts a really long time like for a whole night out like i still have like 70 percent left on this and it charges my phone pretty fast so highly recommend a magsafe charger of course like the only thing is like you'll have that circle on the back of your phone so if you're someone that uses like the um i think it's called the octo buddy or something that you can stick your phone to a mirror if you're like filming videos and stuff of course you probably can't use this um but other than that 
love it and last random item that i have to share is these trader joe's pretzel breadsticks and they look just like this like literal pretzels that are like breadsticks and i've just been snacking on these i know these are meant for like a little charcuterie or something or like with meats and stuff but i'm eating these by myself just like this i love pretzels like my family knows i've always been like a pretzel person i love auntie ann's i love pretzel maker i just loved like eating pretzels growing up like i always put pretzels over chips i was just very weird but i love these i've been snacking on them like crazy surprised i still have some left but i don't know it's just a really nice little snack so yeah and it's great for charcuteries so if you're into charcuteries definitely grab these i also have another item that i don't physically have because i finished it but that is swedish candy i have been loving swedish candy like so much i got on the like tiktok bandwagon with swedish candy i was watching all the videos of people trying them and oh my goodness i finally picked up some from i believe is swedish something i'll put the link down below but i will say it did take a while to get delivered because obviously it's got really popular but it was worth it because i ate a lot of them i specifically like the sour ones like the coca-cola skulls the like pink bub skulls like the sour ones and also the bub like ovals those are my favorite i think i ate way too much of them but nonetheless i really like them a lot i'm sorry but my shirt underneath keeps falling down I'm not trying to expose anything <laughs> but yeah that was another like delicious favorite of mine and another favorite was visiting washington dc last month for my birthday it was like greater than i expected like i actually thought while i was there i could picture myself living there like if i had to choose somewhere else that was like a city besides of course i haven't been to many other cities but as for right now the places that i've been when i was there i feel like i could see myself living there it felt like new york but a little bit less crazy and the food spots were amazing there was nothing that was like oh i don't like this like the food quality was just so good like i could picture myself like it felt like i didn't really get homesick when i was there usually when i go places, i'm like okay i'm ready to kind of go back like i don't like being here but when i went there i felt like it was still like home for some reason just such nice places i know on the wharf is what they call it where the water is and stuff so many restaurants just lined up like i could see myself there like every weekend so yeah i would definitely go back there i actually told my friend my best friend about it that we should definitely do like a trip next year if we can there just hit the amtrak this time but yeah it was very very fun and i enjoyed it a lot so now we are going to jump into like some media type of stuff you know i always add this at the end of my videos so i'm going to share two shows and one movie first show is them the scare i know the first season of them came out i believe in 2018 or so and it's two different storylines no it's two different like topics like it's like an, an anthology series so like it doesn't really relate to each other but it kind of does without giving any spoilers so i would say that you should still watch the first season um i know the first season was a little controversial which i can clearly understand so is it could be like it's very sensitive like especially for um anyone that's like african-american or just people of color in general that deal with racism and stuff like it could be a little bit triggering or quite a lot trigger triggering but you know i still enjoyed it nonetheless as just like a show itself and just how they um like made it and kind of made that feeling of like you know bringing those real life topics into like something that could be a little bit you know like okay spooky whatever but still like not straying away from like real life stuff that probably has happened in the past but yeah definitely recommend it like i said it could be a little bit triggering but them the scare is a new one and it's like set in the 90s with like a detective and she's like trying to figure out this case of like something that happened to a foster mother and it was like it even opened up crazy it's a little bit weird but it kind of goes into like serial killer type stuff but then also like spookyish type stuff i really enjoyed it <laughs> so i definitely recommend it if you guys haven't seen it yet it is on amazon prime then the next tv show is baby reindeer and i know that was like the top trending show 
um, last month or this year, I don't know, on Netflix or overall. And I really enjoyed it. Like, it was really, really good. There was one episode that I was like, whoa, this is really intense. You might know what I'm talking about if you've seen it, but I was watching it and I was like, oh, wow, that felt like very, like, real. And obviously it's like the guy's um, real life experiences of what happened and just the way they filmed that to make it feel like like okay you could feel the emotion of like what he kind of went through it was very like wow they really displayed that pretty well because i was already feeling like ah that sucks like kind of made me feel a kind of way but nonetheless it was a great show had that funny factor but then that serious factor and i really enjoyed it it was only seven episodes so i highly recommend it if you want something quick to watch and not all the episodes are like 45 minutes like majority is like 30 minutes and i love 30 minute shows because it just makes me have like it just makes me watch it more because i have such a short attention span so when i'm watching something that's like an hour long i'm like oh my gosh i can't do this like game of thrones i don't know how i was able to do it because you know i can't keep focused like that anymore but yeah, those were my two shows that I've been enjoying. And then I have a movie that I really enjoyed last month. And it was Civil War by A24 with Kristen Dunst. And I don't know the other actors, but it was not what I expected. I thought it was like a family, like just during the apocalypse, almost like let, leave the world behind sort of thing. But then when I watched it, I was like, oh, it's not a family. <laughs> so it was really really good when i watched it in theaters i did not expect it of course it had some scenes where it like felt you know it kind of relates again to like real life issues clearly and i don't know i really loved it i love all a24 movies like i love a24 that's like such a great production company that puts out so many great movies like you know like hereditary midsummer all those movies that have become like some of my favorites but this one like i really enjoyed it felt really real life felt really of what's going on now in the world and i don't know like just seeing it like if that were to happen here in america would be pretty wild and yeah that's all i'm gonna say right now and then lastly i have a music album to share not a song but an album and you know i've honestly been loving this i know a lot of people that i know did not care for it but i did and for some reason i just started playing it like every day and it's kind of just like background music to me like i know all the words now but it's not like something that i'm gonna like jam to like yeah this is my song put it on it's just like it's a great background i'm like listening to every day and it's like i know all the words it's just soothing for me I don't know why but it is cowboy carter by the one and only beyonce i don't know like i didn't expect to like it as much as i did because honestly when renaissance came out i didn't really give it like a full listen when it came out until like it was all over tiktok and stuff then some songs and stuff i started listening to i'm like okay this is good but when this one came out for some reason i just listened to it straight through and i was like okay and i just kept listening to it listening to it and i just keep listening to it every day like i don't know if i love it and I don't know if I should, don't like it. Like, I just been listening to it. So clearly I like it. But if you want that little, you know, country, but still R&B and just like soothing songs, I feel like this is a good album to listen to. I just listen to it because, I don't know, it's just easy instead of like trying to find songs and stuff. I just really like it. You know, there's a few songs on there that I really enjoy. I think Just For Fun is a good one. Blackbird, which I know is like a Beatles song or a Paul McCartney song um i know most wanted i think that's what it is with miley cyrus two hands to heaven is a great one and yeah and then the rest i just to listen to so i really enjoyed it i don't know how anyone else feels about it definitely let me know down below if you have listened to it and how you feel about it but other than that those were my monthly favorites and it wasn't as much as i thought it would be but hopefully you know if you guys were interested in any of these things or tv shows or movies definitely check them out because i've really been loving them and i know i will continue to but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will definitely see you guys in my next one bye